to so you. Funny. I hate priest. That's that's the <laughs> hypothesis. <laughs>
no, no, no. Here's the difference, Dylan. Slomir is for all the Highlander decks. Psychic Scream is for all the Res decks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, I hate Res Priest. He's so bad. All minions go poof. <laughs> okay, Potion of Madness. One mana, gain control of an enemy minion with two or less attack until the end of the turn. My god, steal my Murgle, won't you, huh? <laughs> Just say E. Yeah, it's an E card. It when it came out with Gadget Sands, I didn't play Gadget Sands, but it was from broken. watching it was old like it. YouTuber videos, it was like in every single fucking deck. Just because it was so good against aggro. Uh, okay, Plague of Death, nine mana, silence and destroy all minions. Another S tier removal man. Really? I don't know. I I I don't think it deserves S because it's just so fucking. It's such a huge spell, and it also yeah. gets rid of your minions, so your death rattles won't figure. I I I. It would be at the bottom of A or then, the top of B, just because. Can it, we it, put it at B? Yeah, I'd put it at B. I think it's a worthy B. It's just too big. Think, Priest yeah. has so many yeah. cheaper cards that do basically the same thing and don't give like your extreme. minions. Yeah, like Solmir and Psychic Scream <laughs> are just better than Plague of Death. Psychic Scream, Psychic Scream is better than Plague of Death, because it's, it's beyond a for silence, me, it's a poof. <laughs> for me, Plague of Death is really good against, like, those poor Gul'dans and Hunters out there in the world. <laughs> yeah, Death Rattle Hunter. Oh no, my Tonks, no. Okay, Pinnis. Two mana, life steal, deal three damage to a minion. Every priest runs it! It is in every <laughs> single deck, honestly. I'd put it at A. Yeah, it's, it's above an A mana cost, And it has life steal. It, it isn't going to win you the game, but it is just a card that is in every deck right now. Yeah, it keeps you safe, it deals damage, it has a ton of utility. Yep. And it's a it doesn't removal. require... Yeah, it doesn't require your opponent to have a certain requirement before using it. Yep. Mass, Mass hysteria. hysteria! Five mana, force each minion to attack another random minion. So, I want to say this is either A or B. I'd put this at the top of A. a. Because it's, an a. it's just the cheapest mana cost for the biggest, like, drawback for your opponent. You're not playing this on 5, even though you can, but it just it's brawl but better because there's no, like, oh, a minion survives, even if your opponent has a full board. It's just cracked mid-range and Highlander so removal. <laughs> I just think that the random aspect of it is why I would put it at B. Yeah, but I mean, like, again, it's not, it's it's only minions. It's not like there's a chance that they won't attack. The reason why I think it's an A-worthy card is for the mere fact that it works against every aggro deck out there because all the minions have lower HP than they have um, attack, so they'll usually all kill each other. Very few and times it's does mana. Mass, Yeah, it's just, it's such a good cost for such a powerful effect. It, it's better than Brawl. Uh, yeah, intimidation okay. or initiation. Six mana, uh, deal simping. four damage to a minion. If that kills it, summon it's a, a new copy. It's which it'll summon. Cool. It summons on your side. It does not summon where it was. Um, That's cool. I would say it's like between B or C. It, it's, it's a, a C, really... it's a C card. The the problem yeah. with this card is it's just um, six mana. Unlike Shadow six Madness mana. or ma or or Potion of Madness, you don't. It doesn't gain charge. You, it it's it's doesn't. It can't attack unless it has charge. Uh, also, it's one of those uh, requirements. It has a requirement that needs to be yeah. met. At, at turn mm -hmm. six, minions with four health are not very common uh, being played for your opponent. And even more so, it's not really worthy to steal them. But when it does get stolen, it's pretty good. Uh, the, the precursor to uh, initiation is Holy Water. It is a, Five it's mana, a, it's a... deal four to a minion. If that kills it, add a copy of it to your hand. <laughs> In my opinion, I think it's like an E or an F. It, it's it is. E. It just doesn't. It actually, it's F. It's just. It's so bad. Like, of course, there's battle cry synergy, unlike initiation or whatever when it enters play. But it's just like five mana do nothing. Because if you're playing this on five, you are not playing the card that you stole it from. Usually. Yeah. Uh. So it's just like too. Initiation. It's too high cost or too little reward. Yeah, initiations is just better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, holy. Yeah, you know ripple. it cards bad when they make a better version of it. Uh, the weaker version of Holy Nova. Yeah, or or uh, Spirit Lash. Deal one damage to all enemies. Restore one health to all friendly characters. 
I think this is better for Spirit Lash in the one effect that it doesn't hurt your own minions. No. If you're I like running... that it's two mana. Yeah, it's it's just such a harmless effect. Uh, and it works I think really like... well with spell damage. It, it scales I think well. it's a... Uh... C, I've seen like a couple combos. I I've seen a couple combos with Holy Ripple, just like get a Malagos and then play two Holy Ripples. <laughs> Unlike Holy so Nova, good. it hits the uh, the opposing hero. So cards with like more, like Malagos abuse or whatever, this is really good cost for that. I I'd put it at at B, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. All right, Holy Fire. Yeah. Six Another mana. Malagos abuse card. Yeah. Hell yeah! That's why I was moved to the Hall of Fame. Uh, six mana, deal five damage, restore five health to your hero. Um, Epic. It's it's, it's not a... really good without the Malagos because it is yeah. it's just six mana, deal five, heal five. But um, it's good when you discover it. <laughs> yeah, it just kind of shows up. Um, it's not in the Zephyrus pool anymore because now it's in the Hall of Fame. Uh. But it's just such a har it's just such a harmless card. I I'd, I'd put it at C. I agree. Uh, the is it just is me or is there? What? What? This this isn't relating to the whole like tier list thing. But is that a pug in the back of that card? Uh, it might be a mastiff, a dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. He's a, he's, a, he's about he's about to smite it. He's about to smite that mastiff. <laughs> All right, forbidden words. Spend all of oh, your mana, a destroy card. a minion with that much attack or less. When this came out it in is... Rise of Shadows, it was game breaking because priest, no priest notoriously had no way to deal with four attack minions. Of course, because shadow word pain and shadow word uh, death can't hit four attack Affected. minions. It this card three and five. being played for four <laughs> mana on four, destroying most, uh, you know, four mana minions, is really good. But as you get into the later game, uh, paying any more than five mana for this card is not valuable. And the problem is, is you can't start off with this card in your turn because you have to play it after you've spent the mana you want to spend on other cards. So mm -hmm. early game, great. Late game, not so good. And what happened would... is we just got better cards like Penis or Hysteria. Penis. I, I would put it in... Yeah. It, it still shows up in Highlander, I, I guess, just to get them through the early turns, but it's just not very good in other decks. Excavated Evil. Five mana, deal three damage to all minions. Shuffle this card into your opponent's deck. Um, this card, I think, is really funny. Yeah, it's a very concept. meme card. It's, it's, it's not very practical, because it doesn't really counter anything. Other than like maybe pure paladin, if you wanted to stretch that far. Uh, but yeah. And if we were running two of them, <laughs> just put it into a Highlander deck. <laughs> Wait, yeah, if you were, if you were to put this card in a deck, in, in in any priest deck, it really just won't help you in the end because you may have cleared the board, but your opponent will be able to clear your board in return. So it's just like not there's not net gain here, and it's not going to yeah, dilute the deck either because this is not a terrible card for them to have. And like you said, uh, freaking, it's um, it only affects pure paladin. <laughs> yeah, I, I I haven't seen that yet, but I think that's really the only one I can think of. Um, I don't know, e, funny card but not playable. <laughs> I would I would say I would say it's, yeah I would say e. It is it is a good against aggro, but that's about it. Embrace darkness. Six mana. Choose an enemy minion at the start of your turn. Gain control of it. Now, on paper, this sounds like <laughs> a really good card. Yes. It really isn't. The problem is, is it's the same problem that Corruption for Warlock has. The one mana curse a minion destroyed at the start of next turn. It's like, it's on top of it, paying six mana to do absolutely nothing. Your opponent can attack with that minion again and can destroy that minion so you don't gain control of it. So it's just bad. It's bad for the cost. It is F. It is there is no freaking like if you are a spell priest, sure. But like even then, paying six mana to, to wait two turns. 
I I get I get so mad when Lyra like like when I when I'm like machine gunning with Lyra and then Lyra offers me embrace start. Yeah, and it's I'm like, like I why <laughs> even playing this for like zero. Like if you get this to like two mana or zero mana, it's still just like you're waiting two turns for an effect, and it's just not that good at all. I agree. Okay, F. Oh, the better version of Embrace Start. <laughs> In tomb, I hate this card so much. Uh, choose an enemy minion and shuffle it into your deck. For oh, most yes, priests, I agree. I agree. For, for not res priests, because usually not, but just in general, instantly removing him. This is poofing a minion. It doesn't. It doesn't even. If you steal a minion, it cannot be resurrected for the person you steal it from, which makes it really good for a lot of decks. Uh, oh, dude, this is this is like in a priest v priest battle. This is a, like <laughs> a this is a red priest's like wor like worst nightmares in tomb. Unfortunately, again, it is it is paying six mana for just killing a minion. It's not gonna win you the game, but it's definitely a powerful card. I don't see it very often anymore. There's just better cards like Soul Mirror and Psychic Scream. But uh, I, hey, look. Look, at least it's not recycle. Yeah, at least it's not recycle. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'd put I would this at B. I think it's about the same I'm... power level as the cards that are on that tier. Yeah, I would agree. And to, and Entomb is really good, especially like for those big minions that are like ah, I spent, I've gotten my, I've got my darkness combo in Tomb. Oh, I've got my <laughs> Ra the Sun God combo in Tomb. Yeah, it's a com <laughs> it's a combo breaker card. If it's not an OTK, it's it's definitely a a steam breaker. Okay, Dusk Breaker, four mana, three three dragon battle cry. If you're holding a dragon, deal three damage to all other minions. Okay, I would put this. I think in C or B, mm -hmm. for the mere fact that you need a dragon. Even though, sure, you make your deck around the dragon, you still need a dragon. For Dragon Priest, this is not a required card at all. And it also does damage your minions, which can ruin a board presence early game. So it's just, it's it's not a unplayable card, it's just use a different card. <laughs> yeah, I don't, think it's, I don't think it's good at all. It, it it was supposed to be like uh, Hellfire, at least a little bit, but it's just not good for priests. Ah, okay. the better removal. <laughs> uh, dragon <laughs> fire potion, six mana, deal five damage to all minions except dragons. Dude, dude, dude! A dragon priest's nut. Whenever they see this card, this is this card what is... makes dragon. This is the best removal for priest, and even a better removal for uh, dragon priest. Most decks. Uh, priest or Highlander decks specifically have dragons, so playing this doesn't really hurt your minions as much. Uh, as it hurts them. Curve. Yeah, and and five damage, playing on six, even if you don't have a board presence, just completely stops steam for for mid range and aggro. It completely stops and, them. And it's a better flame strike, <laughs> too. Yeah, it is. It's just a better flame strike. The drawback isn't that much of a drawback for priest because. Most you're spell casting for most of the early game. Uh, yeah, a you spell it's, cast it's... for about six turns, and then for the next like three turns, <laughs> you're playing humongous minions. <laughs> yeah, I'd put it at A. I don't know. I haven't seen it in a while. It's just better. Whoa, cards. another Zephyrus treasure! <laughs> <laughs> six mana, uh, four five. Battle cry. Take control of an enemy minion that has two or less attack. So. The mana cost checks out here. It's a 4 mana, 4, 5 with a 2 mana effect. However, most minions worth stealing don't have 2 or less attack. Um, Yo. Mm -hmm. It's just another Zephyr. Yeah. Um, di it would dilute. It just it wouldn't be a card you'd run in Res Priest or Highlander or anything. It's just. It does have the correct mana cost for its effect, but it's just been power creeped out as one of the hey, basic cards. I I know this card is super, super good in uh, duels. <laughs> this is one of the. This is this is running nearly every priest deck in duels. Uh, what, the last arena rotation they had when the basic set was in. This was in. This was an insta pick. <laughs> this is a crazy arena <laughs> card, but not in constructed. Uh, I don't know. E because it's Zephyrus. F. It would be F if, if it's unplayable. But Zephyrus sometimes it's useful. Cabal Acolyte, four mana, okay. two four, taunt, spell burst, gain control of a random enemy minion with two or less attack. 
I think this card is D tier. I would put it at C if it was the OG version of it. But yeah, it's but not. Yeah, the 2-6. This card with, uh, what is it, Holy Word Apathy or whatever, is really good. 5-mana, uh -huh. 2-4, steal a minion. Any minion is okay. That's fine. But this card, it doesn't do much else than that. I'm a little weirded out by uh, it being an epic. <laughs> well, originally, it was a uh, 4-mana, 2-6. And its effect is... is uh, Meta bra uh, meta touching, I guess. That's what epic cards usually are. Is like, let's push this forward. Uh, and this mm -hmm. is one of the spell burst cards for priests. So of course it was part of the part of the spell burst mechanic they wanted to push. Mm -hmm. um, but four mana two six, even if it didn't have text uh, or they have the spell burst with taunt, it's just a good card. So it was like an only upside card. Now it's just not that good for its cost. Yeah, there's very standard cards. It's still played with uh, Holy Word Apathy or whatever it is. Okay, mm -hmm. Brittle Bone Destroyer. Oh, this is a great three card. Three. Battle Cry, if your hero's health changed this turn, destroy a minion. This is this is this is such a good card. Um, Freaking... This is definitely more popular in Warlock than it is in Priest, because changing Dude, your I health as Priest is a little more difficult for cheaper costs. Uh, but... I run Renew. Yeah. And or and, and or big slug man, big slug old god man. <laughs> he he do be like, I'll I'll poison your blood, and then and then you 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 lose HP. Bam. It's definitely it's definitely just a harmless card. Uh, paying six mana at the very least, just like using your hero power, um, makes this card is still good. Six mana, three three kill a minion, not that bad. But there's other ways to change your health, and late game too, which would make it very much easier to. Trigger this effect. Change your health. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good removal card. <laughs> I would say it's up there with bees. Yeah, it's a bee card. Oh. It's it's not in We're... every deck, for sure, but it's like really good for just having that effect. <laughs> Destroying it's it's good to reestablish your board. What do you think, Tyree? Do you oh, think it's yeah, a bee? Yeah. Uh, yes, I definitely think it's a bee. I just don't agree with the bees comment. Uh, what part? The bees? But uh, when he said that it was like bees. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I see. Okay. <laughs> Breath of the Infinite. Three mana. It is deal a... two damage to all minions. If you're holding a dragon, only damage enemies. No. For for, I f I see this deck this card like another uh, w uh, weaker dragon fire potion, and it's really good against like that aggro game but i don't uh, the 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 thing about damaging your own minions in a dragon deck this that the, that doesn't really matter it's just like oh yay i guess <laughs> for priest priest uh, in the past since this is a galakron card uh did not have very much good game early removal except for spirit lash and spirit lash is great card against aggro but it didn't always win Breath of the Infinite at 3 mana, uh, playing this on 3 against an aggro deck will usually let you get to the higher mana uh, higher mana cost and then be able to use your bigger removals. And by turn 3, you're not playing many minions, or any minions at all for that matter, really just passing your turn. So the doing 2 damage to your own minions doesn't really matter. Uh, in the late game, it, it's just not as... it's lukewarm. <laughs> it doesn't do much. Uh, yeah. Definitely a powerful aggro munching card. I would put it at B, just because again there's better cards. Uh, but, it's but it's definitely not, not a terrible. bad card. It's still a good card. Okay, I don't agree that it's on the same tier as the four mana three three that destroys a minion. I think I think it's like top of C. Top of C. Yeah, that's fair. Because it's like, but it's better than Duskbreaker, but it isn't much better than that. <laughs> It isn't by much that it beats Dustbreaker. I think it's just a good C tier card. Oh, hold on. I have to let my cat in. <laughs> scratching Hello, at my kitty. door. Hey, it cat. wants to take a nap. Yeah, Sir Gravy's like, let me in, peasant. <laughs> He's been sleeping <laughs> on my bed. I have to turn the heater on for him to sleep up here. Ugh. OK, 
Okay. Oh, I got buried. <laughs> Barry. Barry. I'm Barry Allen, the fastest man alive. True. No, not this again. Okay. <laughs> Time rip. Five mana, destroy a minion, invoke Galakrond. What does Priest Galakrond do again? Add a random priest uh, minion to your hand. Oh, sick. I think Time Rip is the better Assassinate. <laughs> it, it's, it, but yes, it's definitely better than Assassinate. You wouldn't run this card unless you're running Galakrond, of course. It's not that much of a good effect. So, But as Galakrond, playing this on 5 um, is just as valuable as the Taunt minion that does uh, the Invoke. 4-5, the yeah. neutral card. It, it's okay. <laughs> it's fine. As Galakrond, it's, it's, it's just good tempo. Uh... <laughs> Putting this like, in, a, in a regular deck, it's mediocre and does nothing besides uh, killing a minion. From discover effects or from whatever, adding cards to your hand, this you would never pick this. It's just not good for its cost, unless you're running Galakrond, of course. So, I don't know. Galakrond isn't very meta right now. The card, you don't even have to run the card with the invoke effects. That's really how it's being run right now. So Yeah, freaking... <laughs> Freaking uh, tr Trump Hearthstone has has pushed the entire Galakron doesn't need uh, the invoke cards to be a good card. The seven mana and destroy worked. a minion. It's just not. It's, it's just pretty good for priest. <laughs> Gain five armor and then have like a really cool hero power. Yeah, and the, and the hero power is pretty good for, for late game. Um, I don't know. Just because it's such a specific, even in the archetype it's supposed to be ran on is not being ran in right now. I think it's a C card. I don't see this very often. I would say I would even I would even argue it's a D card. Yeah, I think it's a D. The other the other invoke neutral cards, the devoted maniac and then the shield guy, I would just shield run lady? those instead. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's just better cards. Yeah, there's like uh, freaking there's a uh, yeah there's one another one for priest that's really good. I freaking completely forgot. Oh, sick. Spirit Lash. Two mana, oh, life steal. Deal one damage to all minions. I'm going to put this at S because simply yeah. it has so many applications that are just like like hair-pullingly annoying with uh, everything. Everything. Any Anytime you're playing this with anything, it's just so annoying. I love the fact that it's a common. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when this came out with uh, the... The Lich King. Lich King expansion. People didn't really run it actually, but as well, aggro that was because of the taunt heavy meta. Yeah, it was it was definitely a late yeah. game meta. But as aggro has shifted, especially with Demon Hunter, Spirit Lash has made Priest so much survive so much longer. Okay, dude, 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 you just made me lose twenty HP in one turn. <laughs> <laughs> like most times, what it translates to is like deal one damage to enemy minions and then heal for eight. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, this is the last one. Oh, oh, and, oh and don't Word forget Ruin. Spirit... Hey, wait, wait, before we move to Shadow Word Ruin, don't forget that you can actually heal more when you have spell damage. Oh, yeah. Or, or Valen, <laughs> or any other card that it's... Whatever. Okay, Shadow Word Ruin. Uh, four mana, destroy all minions with five or more attack. Yo, another Zephyrus treasure! Yeah. That's crazy! <laughs> I don't think this card is, is ever put into a deck. It's usually picked from Discover Pools or added to your hand, or Zephyrus, of course. And, and by say, itself, it is a really good card. Um, it is good against Big Shaman, Warrior, Priest. This card has more value than uh, what Shadow Word Pain or Death, uh, simply just because... If you get at least two enemy minions, it's the same value. Uh, it scales. Well, it's definitely a later game card. <laughs> the thing I love about this card is the fact that it says all, and the fact that it's four mana, which is only one more than Shadow Word Pain. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that value is overwhelming. I just yeah, noticed I, say... I didn't put Shadow Word Death or Pain in here. I gotta go get them. <laughs> those are two. Those are two children. Yeah, those are the they're, classic. They're the Oh, I must have missed a bunch of basic cards, actually, now that I think about it. <laughs>
<laughs> it's an <Okay>. A card. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on what era you're talking about. This card, this card by itself, okay. like just on a, in a completely empirical standpoint, is fucking amazing card. Like not even with res, it's just a good nine mana card. Uh, with res, it's really good, but other cards are being run in res, like Blood of Cahoon or Fell Scrap Colossus. Blood of the Ancient One. Blood or, yeah, of the Ancient One. Uh, and then a uh, Obsidian Statue is just not as good as the cards that cost the same mana for even res priest. But it's still, but it's still a good card if you're fighting against aggro. Yeah, I think it's getting really it. Good. I, eh, yeah. I don't. I okay. just don't see so it. So. It kills a minion. It heals you. It's a. I, I'm then... not saying it's unplayable. I'm just like it. There's other. There's better cards for the cost to run well, in three stacks. It, well, it's been S tier until uh, convincing infiltrator became a. Convincing infiltrator <laughs> just jobs does the job better. Um, if you were running, you I would think... put this in a deck that you were running Plague of Death in. That's just kind of the same wavelength. It's it's just a really big cost. Nine mana is a weird number in Hearthstone. Just in general, it doesn't allow you usually to play another card in the same turn. Um, I would say it's an A tier card. It's A. It, it's it's still good. It's definitely not a budget card because convincing infiltrators are rare. This is an epic. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah. It's it normally so convincing. Just kind of does the job better. Okay, holy smite. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at how they massacred my boy! <laughs> One mana, deal free damage to a minion. Originally, this red, for the uh, adjusted priest, is a one mana deal two to anything. Um, mm -hmm. oh, my Malagos combo, my boy, my son! Surprisingly, though, this is better than the original Holy Smite in most situations. Three, uh, two true. damage didn't get it over most of the aggro like support cards because they would usually have more than two uh, health. But having three is just pretty good. And for one mana, deal three is just... It's just value um, for most Didn't situations. did you used to like, run it with Shadow Priest? Uh, yeah, you yeah it, it, this is in, uh, in, in, in Shadow Reaper and Win Priest, just because it's a reactivated. Not anymore. Yeah, yeah. I remember dealing like 10 damage or something. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. A... Uh, it's useful. Or B. I, I, I don't put know. it at B. Yeah, it's, it's just B. like A. It's, it's not required for anything. It's just kind of a bonus. It's, a, it's, it's OG Incarnation, I would say is A because Malagos. <laughs> <laughs> We're just playing it on turn one. That was, that was the meme. Uh, four mana, uh, Holy Nova. Deal two damage to all enemy minions. Restore two health to all friendly characters. It's the same as like, uh... That one two mana card. The ripple. That's yeah. the thing. The only difference is, is this doesn't hit the enemy hero. It used to. They nerfed it way before they adjust priest. Well, but... no, they buff and nerfed. It's a buff and nerf. It used to cost five, because... uh, and now it costs yeah. four. Um, but in turn, actually... you can't. Hit... Yeah. Yeah, but in turn, you can't hit the enemy anymore. Sh uh, they they reduced the cost of shadow reward pain and and death too by one, when they adjusted priest at the beginning of last year. <clears throat> Okay. This card, though, is, is uh, uh, again another Zephyrus card. Of course, most of these are Zephyrus cards. Uh, <laughs> but putting this in a deck isn't that bad. It it's just even if it's one enemy minion and one friendly minion that's damaged, it's still pretty good for four mana. Yeah. Because it heals you about... yourself. Yeah. The cool part about being a priest is that uh, you'll always just have extra mana because you're doing nothing until turn six. <laughs> yeah, you have the ability just to pass your turns uh, with all the healing that you have. Uh, I don't know. Again, it's just as functional as, as Holy Smite. It's, it's not just required. C or B. I'd put it at C. I think Holy Smite sees way more play than uh, Nova. Okay, Galakrond the Unspeakable. Seven mana, oh, eight, five yeah. armor, just for one random enemy minion. Oh, I would say it's an A tier card. It's A. It, I, I, I don't know. It, it's above Obsidian Statue for sure. It's even, just value. Even the mayor, it like, it. What, Finger? It. <laughs> you okay, buddy? <laughs> I think his internet died. <laughs> he got well, this right. Uh... He was the one random enemy minion. <laughs> Damn, Galakron's really 
pulling out all the stubs. Um, kind of want to wait for him to get back. <laughs> You gonna leave and come back, buddy? <laughs> like, goddamn. He's just kind of sitting there, menacingly. Awkward silence. Ooh. Awkward silence. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, how how's your day been? Oh, it's been great. Uh, I did a bunch of schoolwork for the majority of my morning. And then once I finished, I came here and did this with you guys. <laughs> you call schoolwork great? <sighs> That's what I told my mom. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all right. Uh, I, I woke up. I was going to hang out with um Owen and Ian, but Owen keeps canceling. Are you just, just hanging out, or are you guys doing something? We're just hanging out. I mean, I, I wanted to go see a movie, but Ian was like, uh-uh, no. No. Hello? Probably not the <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> hey! I had to move to my phone because my computer oh, okay. just pooped. Move it a few inches back. Chill, chill. <laughs> chill, bro. <laughs> How is that? Uh, <laughs> Why are you screaming? <laughs> I'm not. No, it's just the phone. It, the, the Android users. Don't ever buy no gas station from the gas station, bro. I mean, it just sounds like he's going, and I'm not the entire time. Okay. Bruh. Let us commence forth. Uh, five mana convincing infiltrator. Taunt, uh, death rattle, destroy random enemy minion. Two six. I like this card. <laughs> it's just the better obsidian statue. The lifesteal wasn't what made obsidian statue good. It was simply the death rattle. Mm hmm, mm hmm. I put it at S. Yeah, it's it's in every S. single deck. <laughs> and in Red Freeze, it's it's a it's a turn six win. I also yes. just really like its card art. <laughs> Great. It's the only it's one of the few faceless cards that doesn't have a copy effect. Um, strangely. Well, it's because he's already disguised. Don't you? <laughs> yeah, no, he's not a faceless. <laughs> <That's> shit. <laughs> Rathion. <laughs> uh, okay, Shadow Word Pain. Two mana, destroy minion with three or less attack. Mm. Uh, it's back above its my, mana cost. Back, back yeah. in my day, I could <laughs> I could play around my opponent. <laughs> it used to cost three. That was pretty bad. But uh, I've seen this in, in Raza Priest, or, or, or Shadow Reaper Priest, because it's a low oh, co cost. Of course it's running there. And it's, I don't know if it has the fire. No, I, I, I think it's like Holy Smite. It's better than Holy Nova, but it's not better than Holy Smite. Um, yeah. Because Holy Smite could do the effect for less. Okay. And Shadow Word Death. And on curb. Two mana, destroy minion with five or more attack. Um, in terms of value, uh, this is pretty good money. for the cost. Your opponent like will pay six or more, five or more mana for uh, a minion with five or more attack, and then you kill it for two mana. Um, solid card. It, it's definitely a basic card. Um, having a minion with 5 or more attack in an aggro meta, meta is way more anomalous, so I don't think it's in most... It, I don't see it in most priest decks. It's mostly a discover card. It's in... It's in wild. Yeah, it's in wild. wild. I, I, it's, but it's not in Raza Priest. It's not in Galakron Priest. Um, it definitely sees more play than Holy Nova, but it does not see more play than Shadow Word Death. Just because of how the meta is right now. Um, mm -hmm. I, I'm going to put it at, at C in front of Holy Nova. Uh, I agree. Okay, the last one for real this time. Mine uh -oh. Ooh, an F. <laughs> this is a bottom of F card. There is no practical use for this card in any capacity. Paying 10 mana. Make another tier. Dude. <laughs> yeah, make, a, make the mind dude, control dude. tier. <laughs> 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 uh... <laughs> No, 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 no. There's that one thing. There's one thing about mind control is when it, when it, when it appears from a discover or something, and then you just lose because of that mind control. It fucking sucks. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's, 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 very few times does this ever appear, much less. Zephyrus will never offer this to you. And uh, I just want to say, I've never seen this card be played. No, never. 
I, I think I, I saw it once played in a solo adventure because uh, it was like <laughs> in the theme of the Plague of Madness, but I've never seen it like in a deck ever. Uh, back it, when there before there was expansions, though, this was a game winning card just because I mean, like you would steal your late game opponent card and win. But uh, as it stands now, it's they... paying 10 mana for a card, you, you have to do something fucking crazy. <laughs> Hadronox. Hadronox. Uh, any of the old the gods. Of that dude yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll change it to fucking uh, mind control. <laughs> can I, oh, I can make it bigger. Okay. 